Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you the Sora Asan Studio Bento Box. So I'll just quickly show you the website. So here's the website here. Um, and as you can see, I have chosen the stationary bento box. And the specific one I chose was whitewash. So if you click on here, I'll just show you how much it was. Um, I think they're around... Oh, it doesn't actually say. It's all sold out. Oh, I don't know. Okay, I think I paid around $40 for it. Now, this box is not sponsored. It isn't. It hasn't been given to me as a gift or anything. I chose this box because I saw a review on YouTube. I absolutely loved it and I wanted to show you guys. So, let me just change the settings because the lighting is very dark and then we'll get started. Alrighty, so all I've done is cut the box open and open the lid. Now, because it's a bento box, it's been wrapped like a little bento box you'd be get for for lunch. And at the front it actually has my name in beautiful calligraphy. With I'm pretty sure these are stamps all the way around. And as you can see it's the same stamps on the top of the box here and I absolutely love this washi tape. So let's pull this one out. Now I ordered this box probably months ago um, just because it took we, like because she had to make the box and it took it takes a really long time to ship to Australia um, it probably took I think around two months to come but I was expecting that because she makes everything inside and everything is handmade hand wrapped and everything so it's absolutely beautiful thank you so much for the beautiful letter all right I can't wait to open this I'm gonna put this on aside and I'll open that one last Oh my goodness. I love that this is cloth. Oh my goodness, this is absolutely gorgeous. Oh my god, I love this. Also, just a side note, she actually makes the box herself, apparently. That's what I read in the last review. And she makes everything in here, so I'm just blown away. I'll give you a close-up and then we'll get back into the review. I absolutely, I don't even know where to start. I'm so blown away right now. Okay, so I'm going to put these little packages to the side so I can open them up one by one. Look how gorgeous these are. A little thank you. Oh my goodness, everything's wrapped so beautifully. <gasps> oh my goodness, there's so much. Okay. This is incredible. Okay, so we'll put this one aside. We'll put this little box aside. We'll take this little box out. This little box out. These. Oh, that's incredible as well. Okay, so I'm going to move that one aside as well. All right. So now we can do close-ups of each one. So this is a little box of washi tape samples. They're absolutely gorgeous. Um, my camera has a hard time focusing. <gasps> What's that? Oh, it's a little piece of vellum paper on the bottom of the box. That is so cute. Apparently she hand makes these boxes. That's what I was saying before. Oh, I love that. So those are the four little, oh no, not four, eight little washi tape samples. And I'll be using these in my next video to create a little snail mail package. So I'll pop all these back in. And I'll use them in my next video. Next, we have a tiny little gift. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, it's ink. Oh, it's green ink. Wow. How 
how cute is that? Is that in focus? I hope it's in focus. My camera is not really liking to be focused. And look at the little wrapping paper. Oh, how cute. I'm going to keep that as well. <laughs> Alright, very cute. I love it. Next, this little package looks like a washi tape sample. Oh, actually, this one, not a sample. This looks like an entire washi tape. If you can hear something buzzing, it's just my phone. And as you can see, the wrapping paper around this little present is the same as the cloth used to wrap the bento box. <gasps> Gorgeous washi tapes! Okay, so what do we have here? I'd love to know where she gets her supplies from. Oh, actually, that's easier to see, isn't it? It is. It's so beautiful. Oh, I love them. I'll open this one up for you as well. Seems like we've got a bit of a vintage yellow and green theme happening in this box. Oh, very gorgeous. I love these. I can't wait to use these washi tapes. Next are these twines. And as you can see... She's made the little um, pieces of timber that they wrap around. So I'm not going to take these ones out of the box because it's just the four of them there. And they're so gorgeous. Um, so you can see there's a green theme running through this one, which I adore. So I'm pretty sure this one's just a bunch of papers. With this one, which I'm really intrigued to see because it has my name on it. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, again, it has that beautiful paper at the bottom. Oh, I don't even want to open it. It's so gorgeous. All right, so we'll do it one at a time. So this is just really thick. It actually feels like handmade paper. And then this gorgeous, um, I don't know what you'd call that. Um, I guess just... <laughs> and then the stamp that's the shop stamp there Sora very very gorgeous I love that this one here is what I really wanted to know what was inside um, I'm going to keep this oh how cute Oh, we've got a little August. Oh, I think this is for your bullet journals. A little August calendar. These are really pretty. I wonder where she finds all these papers. Gorgeous, thank you. Alright, next is this little one. And again, I wish I didn't have to pull apart her gorgeous wrapping. Oh my goodness, this is so cute. Lots of little stickers and bits of paper and ticket stubs. I love it. Very, very cute. Oh, this one's beautiful. This one looks like she's made it herself. Actually, both of these look like they're handmade. Next one. A little foggy here. Sixteenth, <laughs> seventeenth, and then again, beautiful paper. I love her ideas of how to wrap everything. I'm going to be using them in my next videos. All her beautiful um, stationary wrapping skills. And a little collage she makes on the front as well. See, so something like this, I just don't want to open. <laughs> 
Oh, let's look, she made a little baggie. This would have taken hours to make. Oh my goodness. <gasps> What's in here? Oh my goodness, these stamps. And she's wrapped it up with a little letter. Oh, and it says Dear Brittany. Okay, so let me show you the wrapping of these little gorgeous ones first. So can you see that? So these are the wrapped up little stamps. And as she said, she carved them herself. I can't wait to use these. These are so special. Okay, let me get a little stamp. Oh, actually, this might not work. Oh, yeah, it does. How cute. Oh, yeah, they work perfectly. I still can't believe she handmade these herself. Oh, I love these. Thank you. We've got this beautiful silly goose card. It looks like a little um, card, um, what's it called? Playing card. And then a whole bunch of tags. And again, I think these are all handmade. <gasps> so pretty. It's got like a, a rose gold pattern on them. Oh, I love these. Oh, she's so brilliant at what she does can't wait to start using all these. Alright, gorgeous. Beautiful papers. And again, I think this one's handmade. Actually, that one feels like a sticker. And then some more papers. She must be collecting these from all over. Alrighty, so that finishes off all the papers that we got in the box. Um, oh, actually, there could be plenty more, but that finishes off that little tub. So that ca all came out of that little tub there. Alright, so that's that tub done. And next is this tub. This is like a never ending box. This box goes on forever. So we've got this little number 14 tag, which I love. Well, I love everything in this box, so. <laughs> and these are all beautifully wrapped. So pretty. <laughs> a little origami crane. And some more twine and this is beautiful yellow twine so delicate okay and again that beautiful paper at the bottom all right so we've got beautiful sorry four beautiful little packages in this one can't wait to open it okay so again we'll do one at a time so let's start with this one and at that that sticker says, sorry not the sticker, the stamp says, handmade with care. So she's made her in a little pocket, and then inside are these beautiful tags. This is definitely worth what I paid for it. I can't remember the exact price. I know it was pricey, especially with the shipping. It probably was altogether around a hundred dollars maybe, maybe a little bit more, but you get so much. 
and you can see how much time and effort she puts into these things. Oh my goodness, this looks like a book. What is this? <gasps> oh my goodness, she married a book. <gasps> Look at all these beautiful papers inside. This is gorgeous. Look, you can see it's handmade by the, the beautiful sewing in the middle. I love it. Thank you so much. I don't want to even keep going. I feel like I've, I need to take in everything that I've already got. No, I think there's a green one as well. It's a handmade little green book. This is absolutely gorgeous. I keep trying to keep all the little washi tape strips that she's used to wrap everything as well. Because you know I'll be using them. <gasps> okay, what does this say? It says, handmade papers from Pawana papers. Beautiful. So again, it's a little handmade book, but it's all handmade papers. Gorgeous. I love that so much. Thank you. Alrighty, so this is the next package. Okay, so we've got these beautiful travel papers, like maps, postcards. It looks like newspaper, gridded paper, and then more maps. Brittany, I hope you're enjoying all your new stationery goodies. <laughs> oh, it has my name on it. She's so thoughtful because she emailed me and said that it will take a little bit longer, but she also wrote me this beautiful postcard that says, sorry it took so long. And honestly, I thought it was going to take a long time because she's absolutely done a most incredible job and she's handmade everything. So I really do appreciate that. Very, very thoughtful. Again, some more beautiful papers. That looks like Alice in Wonderland. I can't wait to use these. That's a beautiful bag. Oh, look at these papers. I love these. I'm just a bit in shock as well because there's so much in here and everything's so gorgeous. And I just want to use everything straight away. So <laughs> in my next few um, crafty videos where I'm creating snail mail packages, you get to see me using all these beautiful goodies. Oh my God, they're like little pom-poms. Again, some beautiful papers. Oh, these are cool and different. I don't think I've seen any of these papers anywhere. I feel like she's just collected these from... Oh, actually, I do know this one. I was literally going to say, I don't think I've seen any of the papers, but this one I think I actually have from Japan. Like these kind of things I've just never seen before and they seem so unique and beautiful. Oh my golly golly goodness. All right, so we are at the last two big packages. This is so beautifully wrapped.
If I was to give this box a review, I would give it a hundred, a <laughs> hundred out of a hundred. It was amazing. Let me show you what my bed looks like.